So this is the image of a copper metal um, with SEM. And we can see the nice layers, looks very clean, a coil kind of a structure here. And there is maybe some either dirt or um, some oxidation, some signs of oxidation here. And we can zoom in to investigate. It also looks a little powdery and it's dark compared to the brighter structure here. And if you remember, the SEM imaging from phenome is basically using the backscattered electrons. And backscattered electrons are dependent upon the atomic size. So higher the Z, brighter it is. And if we look at the copper versus any kind of oxidation, which would mean ox presence of oxygen here, so this would be, copper would be brighter and this darker area would be indicating oxidation or presence of oxygen. Let's zoom in some more here. And we can see little, you know, uh, dents, some ridges, some tiny layers here. The magnification is almost 3,500. And the voltage is 15 kilovolts, point volt. And now we can go and look at the other piece of metal. And whoa, look at this. This one has so much more of the darker areas and this uh, almost powdery substance must be the oxide. And also one more thing, um, the copper wire, it is metal and so it is a solid malleable ductile substance. Whereas if you have an oxide, for example, copper oxide, that is an ionic compound and it will be crystalline and hence brittle which we can see it like over here. And that is why the substance breaks once it's, it gets oxidized. So again, we zoom in over here. Look at the structure, looks much more worn out, used. Different spots of oxidation, cracks. And we can keep on zooming in here. Look at the structure here. It's almost at the magnification of 7100 times. And we can see this little porous, powdery kind of flaky kind of structure over here. And now let's look at it um, under EDS.